Hey everybody, and I am Deb Chanel's 40th World. You've come to my video channel, and I have to make this video especially for the ones who say I wouldn't amount to anything, who called the cops on me, who tried to downgrade me in the comments, and all of that jazz, okay? I tried to quote from Biggest Smalls, you know what I'm saying? But I said, nah, I ain't gonna go like that. I ain't gonna go like that on my people, okay? But I just wanted to address some people that don't know me. I don't need to make a reintroduction video of who I am, how I get down, and how I express my own opinions, okay? But for the haters, for the lovers, for the uh, positive people, for whomever you may be, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. If the arrows don't sting your back, duck and get in the sack. Okay? That's all I am trying to say to people. If it touch and agree with your spirit, pray about it, but don't pray on me. Okay? Huh. If you're pressed about it, don't be stressed out about it. Okay? But I am just going to address this once and only once. And when you do make comments to me trying to call yourself getting me together on what I need to put on my channel or not put on my channel or how to express myself or how not to express myself, I'm going to lead way and have you go on over to this here old call video. This so-called video I'm making for those who wants to give me their opinions but don't want to listen to mine without trying to drag me for fail. Okay? You know I say comment leave me your comments i be meaning that because i like to be critiqued on my videos here and there but what we ain't gonna do is try to tell me i'm infringing on somebody else's life when i'm not i'm not a news reporter i don't go out there and like i'm working for tmz and scout people out and watch their every move no i don't do that okay that's not me that may be some of you all, but that's not me. I don't get paid for that. But when it comes across my social media video, when it's pro uh, broadcasted on the news, meaning the uh, local news, then I may feel some kind of way about it. Not everything applies to me. Not everything gets to me. But when I run across something and I feel like I have an opinion and I can't talk to my live friends or uh, my um, co-workers or my uh, family members about it, I have to come bring it on my social media platform to get, hey, the people that come to my channel, I get their opinions on what's going on. I drop the tea to them. Some things I drop good, some things I drop bad, but I always have an opinion, and I try not to tear nobody down unless you are one of these reality entertainment shows and you giving me that kind of demeanor, then I'm going to have to speak on it. Okay, Ooh, did I say speak on it? Go check Candy Brewers out. That's our new YouTube channel. Speak on it, all right? Even she doing something on YouTube, and she is a mega celebrity star with the household name Real Housewives of Atlanta, baking her bread, and she's serving it up to everybody and her family, okay? So, in response to the people that say I'm ridiculous, no, I'm not. I'm just funny with my commentary, okay? I kind of make you laugh on each of my uh, videos here and there. Somewhere in between, you do get a light chuckle. I know you do. You ain't got to tell me, but I know you do, okay? For the ones that say you need a job, well, bless the Lord, I have one. I done told y'all from the beginning, if you would have went to my video, my first reintroduction, well, my first introduction video, and then my reintroduction video, I said what I said. I said for the ones who didn't get it the first time that this is supplementing my income. Supplementing. Look it up. Get in the Western Dictionary. Google it. You'll see where I'm coming from for the, those who don't know what the word means. I have a job. I get out there every day. The Lord wakes me up. I shake and move, okay? Get paid every two weeks, okay? File taxes at the end of the year. That's what I do. And then when I hit YouTube real hard, I take that income, have to report it as well. And it's been very meager, okay, because I hadn't hit. I, I left YouTube for about four or five months because I was just tired of just 
having to have to do it when I was trying to do other things. I am an entrepreneur, okay? I sell and do jewelry, okay? Handmade jewelry. If you go on my daughter's channel, Star J Craziness, she sells sunglasses and other apparel as well as jewelry, all right? She'll tell you how to get there. You could, uh, what we call it, down message her, her or messenger her or email her. You could get goods from us. YouTube is just another tool I use for resources when and whenever I choose see fit, okay? That's what I do. So, that's answering your question. I need to get a real job. Got one. Do it. Do it well. And then I have this job. Then I have other jobs I do too, okay? Thank you. Uh, you, you, you tell me I'm ignorant. Nope, I'm not. I'm very knowledgeable about different things. How I choose to bring it to you is how I choose to bring it to you. If I want to go and pick up an Acquire magazine, I know what Acquire is about and I know what Media Takeout is about. But sometimes due to them not putting stuff out there that they could possibly be sued on, they have been on point lately. Okay? They have been on point. So those are still two good resources if you care to take part of them or not. I'm just getting what is put in front of me and giving my opinion. I'm not saying it's the Holy uh, Grail, it's the Holy Bible, people. Use your own discernment. Do your own research. Just take what I give you all and float with it, okay? It's not to tear down nobody. It's not to uplift nobody. It just is what it is. Now, in my videos... I give you my opinion and I try to tell the person if they are truly in this situation or this is truly what is affecting them, do better. Okay, do better. But if they don't want to do better, that shows me that this is the type of life they like because it feeds their family. It gives them a sense of purpose of getting up every day, being entrepreneurs because that's what they are. They are really independent contractors. They're, they are signing contracts to sign on to do foolishness. All right. I, like I told you, I met some celebrities, reality celebrities in Georgia, and they don't act nowhere near what they what they show on screen. OK, so I know the difference. Thank you. OK, then someone told me you're going to get sued. How can I get sued for my own opinions? And I'm not even saying this is true. Go check it out. I pulled it from the court records. I did this, that and the third. No, I'm getting them from top blogging sites who have done their due diligence. OK, so they won't get sued. Personally, I feel I'm making them relevant. And I am because if you sit there, you're on a reality series and you're as boring as uh, I'll get out. They will replace you. They will put someone else in your spot because you're not giving them drama. You're not giving them what they need to draw in said amount of people so they can continue producing this type of show. So it's good that we do as content creators speed up the process for these wannabe celebrity reality stars, okay? We the one put them out there, whether it's good, bad, however indifferent. However you take it, we're still putting their names out there. And when they are on these platforms, they can be deemed to be seen as, ooh, victims. They can be uh, deemed to be seen as aggressive people, uh, people that want the fame and fortune. They want to act like they are on the uh, top pedestal that you could possibly be on. They chose this willingly. Okay. Then I'm about to hold a gun to their head and say, okay, you're going to copy on this TV show and you're going to give me this, that, and third, and you're going to like it. No, those are not the dynamics. They go in, they tell them what they're looking for. They feel that they are a good fit. Let's run with it. I'm going to give you a contract for how many uh, episodes during this one season we're producing. If people like you, whether they like you or don't like you, but you're bringing in numbers and we're having a lot of feedback from you, we're going to keep you and we're going to give you uh, another season and so many episodes, okay? And we're going to pay you this amount. That's how the entertainment field works. So when you or people feel like YouTube content creators are coming out here making dramatization for these people like they didn't ask for it. Yeah, they asked for it. They signed up for this. They signed up just like when I made my YouTube platform and I'm coming out here saying this, that, and the third on whatever video I'm talking about. I opened up myself to scrutiny for people to come and tell me what they feel. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay. And I even say, leave me your comments because I do like to hear them. 
But don't be saying, oh, well, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. You should be, you know, no, just take the video how it is. Critique me on what I put out and then we can have a dialogue. We can have a conversation. OK, and when I do respond back and I respond back to all, especially that comes on my feedback. Now, if it ends up in my trash or somewhere else, you know, hey, I'm seasoned. I may get to that department when I can. And I hell, I might, it might be a year or two later that I get that with you. But that's just, I'm not that savvy where I'm checking other entities or where you could have dropped a message to me. Okay, so drop it under the video and I'm going to get back because I'm going to see it. And if I don't see it, I don't have no moderators. I don't have nobody messing with my account. Maybe Google took it or maybe YouTube took it and I just didn't see it. I don't know. It's their platform. I'm only leasing it. <laughs> they, they taking a, a, a share of my check of what I do get, which is very meager. Because like I said, I have been hitting it hard. So it just is what it is. For the ones that say I'm pathetic. No, I kind of see myself as a straight shooter and a motivator at times. I want people to pull up. Okay. Sometimes people do get a part of this reality entertainment world. And they can't handle it. I'm not the one because I'm all about them hands. Let me tell you. I ain't gonna, you ain't going to never see me in no beef. Okay. It may be a change of words here or there if I want to insert myself. And then I'm done with it. Because you're not going to bully me. And I'm not going to bully you. I just state my opinions and I move on. Okay. <sighs> Let's see what the next one is. You think you're supposed to know everybody's business? No, I don't. Like I said, I'm not a journalist. I'm not a reporter. I don't go out there and stalk or take pictures of people for a living. I don't do that. That's kind of like detective work. I'm have to be. I'm going to have to be employed for someone to do that, and I'm going to get paid to do that. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to just be out there looking at somebody's trash, watching their every move recording, filming. No, I'm not going to do all that. But if it comes across my social media feed and I feel like, mm, I need to speak on that or I need to share my thoughts on that, I'm going to come to my platform and I'm going to put it out there. But I do say I try to do it very respectfully. And again, as an omission, I say it's my opinion. I don't say it's the truth. All right. And that's not spreading rumors or illicit gossip. All right. Sometimes when I do have a story I'm bringing out, I said, well, this is what somebody said. But if it is true, this is what I feel about the situation. Just like when I tell you to comment on my videos, you're giving me your reasoning for why I said what I said. OK, so that's how I feel about that. Uh, my voice is irritating. If my voice is irritating where I get high pitched, I'm coming in kind of mumble fire. Or I am just speaking all illiterate and it just hurts your ears. Turn it off. Because I definitely, if I hear music or somebody's talking and it's just getting on my nerve, I'm turning it off. I'm not making a comment. I'm just doing what I need to do to preserve my hearing. I'm getting away from that. Okay? So I ask you to do the same. If you don't like the video, you don't have to uh, do any of my things where I say like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to cut it off. Don't speak. Don't say that. Just cut it off. Okay? If it gets irritating like that, well, a few seconds, cut it off. I want you to preserve your hearing. I want you to hear, honey, son. Okay? Uh, you can't talk. Okay? I didn't come over here to say I could talk. Do my pronunciations right it's broken language okay i give you whatever's on my mind and however it comes out deal with it i'm not writing a paper i'm not at my job where i have to be political politically correct and talk the right kind of language okay i'm at home i'm enjoying myself i'm putting out video so whatever come out my mouth it is what it is okay either digest it or regurgitate it it doesn't matter okay digest it swallow it for it is or throw it up i don't you know it doesn't really matter to me it really doesn't okay for the ones that say i'm fat yeah i am overweight my doctor really called me in medical terms obese <laughs> okay but i am going to be working on that i try to work on it every day i try to choose the best healthy way of eating but sometimes when the money flow in certain kind of ways it's cheaper to eat bad than it is to go and get fruits and vegetables and prepare them okay i'm on a budget I have to do what I have to do. All right. But we are considering working on the weight uh, issue again. Because, yes, I am too big. I acknowledge it. I'm glad you acknowledge it for me. So it can keep me 
in the right frame of mind that yes, I need to lose weight for my health. Okay, not to just look good, but for my health. All right. Are you ugly? That's a perception. Okay, that's a perception. I personally think I am a gorgeous woman. Fat, black, stacked, however you want to see it. I have very high self-esteem and can't nobody bring me down from how I feel about myself. Okay, you may see ugly, I see beauty. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder, the creator. Okay, he made everybody beautiful. But if you deem I'm ugly, okay, that's your opinion. I accept it. Don't agree with it, but I accept it. All right, uh, you're tired and you sound tired. Turn it off. Turn me off. Okay, don't even let me go past go. Lock me up. Throw away the key. Turn off the video. Okay, that's all, basically all I can say that you need to do. Uh, you're crazy. <sighs> yeah, some people may think that. Okay, those are the ones that love and, and care for me. They say it all the time, but it's in a humor size way. It's not in an ethical um uh, physical way but yeah if you think i'm crazy go you know take a dose don't take a dose of my uh what do you call it dramatization that i give you from here today it just is what it is i'm gonna continue making videos i'm gonna continue being myself and i love myself okay whether you like it love it or not doesn't matter okay Oh, uh, you told me to get a life. I am living my life. I'm living my best life at this time, okay? I'm kind of struggling with the money, but who who isn't out there they, these days? Who not living paycheck to paycheck? Let's just get real and, and, and down with it, okay? No, I don't have a, a... I'm not sitting on a pot of gold or savings. Yes, if I miss three or four checks, I'll be homeless. Yes, okay? So, in a sense, I do live paycheck to paycheck, but God gives me all the grace and favor and blessings are bestowed on me, his princess. Okay? That's all I got. That's all I can say about why I do what I do, people. So, this is the video that's going to definitely be put out, and people can go and refer to this video when I... I don't comment back onto you. I'm just going to say, go see video, whatever I name it today when I get ready to publish it. Okay, go see that video. And then you can get all of what I feel about comments that are brought in that uh, parameter. Okay, because, I, you know, like I said, I want to comment back to you all. But to sit and try to answer all of it, that's kind of be like the same little scenario. I call it the hater video. I might call it the hater video. Uh, then that's what I'm going to do on the misinformed video. Let me reintroduce myself. I don't know what it's going to be titled, but you all will know and y'all can refer back to it. For the ones that just don't get it. That just don't get. Look, it's a good thing for YouTube content creators to talk about celebrity entertainers. This is a negotiating tool that they can use, especially when... They are paid to bring drama to said reality show that they're on or in or to the ones that make music, to the ones that produce and make movies, star in movies, being actors and actresses or actresses. OK, they rely on us, people such as myself, content creators, to tell them what they felt and be very uh, critical about but very constructive with what we're saying. Okay, they depend on that. All right. Especially Miss Nene Lee, she loves it. Okay, she loves it. Whether you like her or love her, it doesn't matter. Don't nobody know these people unless you're sitting at their table. We're only gravitating off what they say and do and what they say and do and post for us, which gives us the right, the freedom of speech, 13th Amendment, get with it, to put our own interpretations and our own spin on what we feel. And again, I could base this video on uh, content creators such as myself coming over looking at my videos and hiding behind nameless or tagless um, avatars that they use to say who they are when they choose not to give uh, their platform signature or just a picture of them. I call them gangsters. Uh, YouTubers, okay, they hide behind the scenes, want to post, want to say, want to critique, but yet, they don't want to show who they are, now, it just is what it is, I've shown myself, y'all know who's been rocking with me, how I look, okay, I've been on recently, so y'all can catch 
of me or how I look, how I am at this stage in my life at 51. You know, I just choose to do more visuals because when I'm looking at something, I'm hearing somebody's talking. I want to be able to connect. OK, I don't want to just be on camera and I'm telling you, I like to be able to show you as well who I am referring to and what I am speaking of. OK, I like I'm a very visual person, as you can tell. But that's all I have for this video, trying to drop knowledge, trying to drop tea and trying to reintroduce myself to people that seem to not get it. OK, so hopefully you get it, you got it and you can move on. Definitely, like I say, subscribe, like and comment to my videos. Just be respectful. That's all I'm saying. And for the ones that say I'm not, uh, I'm ignorant, I'm not knowledgeable about stuff, girl, bye. Boy, bye. Okay? Very overstood on certain issues. Okay? Very much overstood. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a great Sunday. Be blessed. And I'll come back with y'all with some more commentary, some more videos today. Okay? As I choose and see fit. I don't know. I might do a live. I don't know. It's just I have so many things I can do and I just can't choose to seem to choose which one I want to do. It's just like being in a candy store or a department store and I just go crazy because I see all these things that I want and I can't pick and choose. You know, if you put me on a time scale or a, a, a time frame, I would probably lose my mind because I couldn't just fill out just one or two outfits or buy one or two uh, certain sweets I like. You know what I'm saying? I just go crazy because I want them all. All right, like I won the lottery and I just don't know which way to go. East, west, south, north, I just don't know, okay? But be blessed. I'll talk to you soon for something. Bye-bye.